Persian room, we indulge a number of passions. One that's particularly close to my heart are the very old pieces. They range from the rural, rustic, simple pieces right through to supremely sophisticated, refined work. This is a Kamse Confederacy piece of weaving. The Kamse Confederacy was a loosely knit group of five tribes that were at their peak for weaving between 1850 and 1900. These pieces are highly prized and difficult to find. I date this one around 1860. They're loved because they're tribal and because they're robust and sincere. They're loved because of the balance that these people achieved in colour and in design. The three medallion look is very typical, particularly down around the Shiraz area. And in this one with the oat coloured field and the intricacy in the middle, it's a wonderful focal point when you're looking at the carpet. The midnight blue, blue field out here highlights the centre. And then within the field, you have such an intricacy of design from the animals to the flowers, to samples of rugs, to trees, and even to stylized serpents. At aged over 150 years, this easily qualifies as an antique rug. I sometimes get asked, what is an antique rug? What's the age? And general consensus is that it's over 80 years old. So this one easily fits in. The next one is much younger, but it is also within that group. And in many ways, it is the opposite of what we've just been looking at. This is a Tabriz rug made probably in the last 10 years or so of the 1800s. It is a workshop rug and the style is known as Hajar Jalili. This is in traditional style with a central medallion and a gentle pallet. In this piece, exquisite floral detailing is used sparingly giving an uncrowded and clear design. The colours in the natural dyes have been expertly chosen to complement each other and produce a stunning wholeness. The old ivory ground is in harmony with the colours placed upon it. The range of colours was restricted when this piece was made and now it's got the patina of extreme old age. Almost velvet-like in its fineness of weaving and luminous wool, this work exudes both luxury and refinement. Being rare, collectible and in wonderful condition, this rug is one of a kind. This is a masterpiece of a rug that gives the more you look at it. The detail is so interesting. For me, as a gardener, I love this element just here, where you have the journey from the bud to the full flower to the spent head. There are also leaves and stems and tendrils. The balance and control between minutia and overall design makes this rug great. This master weaver understood that less is more. And I find this piece particularly interesting. It's a pushti sized piece of bijar sampler made by a master weaver in the late 1800s. He would have used it as a page from a manual for his workers, who, when they were designing a new piece, would be able to turn to this and choose elements to put within their new weaving. In the second half of the 19th century, many weavers took to incorporating European style images into their repertoire. In this, you can see the gulf ring, or foreign flowers, in all elements. The main border has a well-developed range of roses and other blossoms. The vase or the wall sconce has the typical three-flower design, together with the traditional composition of the trailing vines. What I particularly love about this piece are the three samples of bote up through the middle. 
Each is quite different, original, creative. You can see the development of an idea going up the piece, with each one more glamorous and refined than the last. With this piece, as with many older pieces, it's a matter of opinion sometimes as to when, where, who made them. I'm always interested to hear what you think. I'd love to get an email from you. Thank you.